What's up guys, it's Chespin, and this episode is going to be all about my childhood games. But before we get into that, I'd like to show you another plush I won out of a claw machine. I don't know why I'm so good at these, but yeah, this one took me about three tries. Oh, the claw just wouldn't hold on to it, but I finally got it. It's the Angry Birds Movie Pig, 28 centimeters. I'm not sure if it has a specific name or anything, but it's from the movie. It's official and all, it's official and all that. Um... Yeah, looks looks pretty cool. So I'm really happy with this. Um, found an Angry Birds claw machine, so I thought I'd just have a go and I actually got it. So that's pretty cool. Now, onto the childhood games. Now, I grew up with the Wii and the DS, so I'm sort of a part of that generation. You know, I never had uh, interest in Xbox or PlayStation. I've always been a Nintendo fan. So, Wii games, DS games, more DS games, and my absolutely destroyed Nintendo DS Lite Super Mario Limited Edition or whatever. I don't know how this broke, but this is like my entire childhood, so I'm not gonna throw this away, I don't I don't think, but yeah, so these are all the games I grew up with, as you can see here. Um for Wii games we've got Wii Sports, Mario Party I actually didn't get until later. Uh Mario Galaxy, I've been playing that like that was like one of the first games I got in the Wii, and obviously have to have this on the Wii. Super Mario Bros. Wii. Now, I did also have Mario Kart, but I think I ended up selling that or something. I don't know, that was stupid, but yeah. So these are the Wii games, and then there's the DS games. Let's just get that crap out of here. Um, these are all the Pokemon ones, and these are all the other ones. So the absolute main one out of all of them is Super Mario Bros. I got this game when I was like four years old, and I was playing it, and because because I was four or whatever, I was I think I was like even three years old, maybe even younger, but because I was that young, I didn't even know how to change the world, so I was just stuck on world one forever, and I was just like, hey, how come my friend's on the desert one? I want to get to the desert one, but then eventually I grew a brain and actually started playing properly, so this game, so many childhood memories from it, it's it's so good, it's, it's so fun. Um, yeah, so, that, we've got Plants vs. Zombies, um... Really good game for DS, PC, mobile, just everything. I actually first started playing it on mobile, on the on my iPod Touch or whatever. And then it came out on the DS, so I bought on the DS as well because I'm a tryhard. And yeah, Plants vs. Zombies overall, just a really solid game. This is the original we're talking about. There's obviously number two on the uh, mobile, but this is the original. The OG, really good game. Then we've got Super Mario 64 for the DS. I actually didn't fully beat this game until this, no, no, last year now, 2019, so, yeah. Um, grew up with this one, but I just recently got all the stars and caught all the rabbits and did all those, you know, side quests and whatever. But a really good game, very nostalgic for me. Unfortunately, I'm not that old to grow up with the um, Nintendo 64 for the original game of this, but I have played it before, and it's still just as good as this. It's really good, so... I grew up with the Super Mario 64 DS edition, so, yep. Then we've got Pokemon Black 2. I didn't get this one, actually no, I got it in 2012, but I was a bit older in 2012, so I actually knew what I was doing in this game. Highly recommend it though, it's my favorite game on the DS of all time, and it's my favorite Pokemon game of all time, so. Uh, actually no, maybe Super Mario, this one is my favorite on the DS, New Super Mario Bros, but this is definitely by far my most favorite Pokemon game, like, ever. It's just, it's so good. Mostly because I love Gen 5, but just, it's, it's just so good. Like, I just can't get enough of it. I've played through it, like, a bajillion times. Then Pokemon White, one of the first ever games I got for the DS. Um, when I first got this one, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just like, how do you play Pokemon? I don't get it. So I just stopped playing Pokemon completely for a few years. Then I came back to it, I understood it, and I was like, oh, it's actually really fun. So, uh, I, also, I also have Pokemon Black. I believe Pokemon Black is the game I first played before this one. Then I got this one later on, but then I realized it's the same game with a different legendary, and I was like, oh, whatever, still cool, yeah. Then the two sort of older games on the DS, uh, Platinum and Soul Silver. Now this case is actually not original, I think it's like some replacement case or something, because I know for a fact that I lost it, but the game, as you can see, is original. It's the AUS Australian uh, PAL version. All of my DS games are Australian, I'm pretty sure, so. Um, but Pokemon Platinum, I didn't get it until sort of later on. I think I got it around the same time as Pokemon Black 2, but still a solid game for the DS, a really good one. Um, yeah. And then we've got Pokemon Soul Silver, 
uh, I think that was the second Pokemon DS game I ever got after Pokemon White or Black or whatever. I don't know. But yeah, it's still a really good game. So much content in this. It's just unbelievable how much content is in Pokemon Soul Silver. Did lose the Pokewalker a long time ago, I think. Maybe it's at my grandpa's house or something. I don't even know. But yeah, this is Pokemon Soul Silver. Had it for a long time. Really good title for the DS. And yeah, those are pretty much all my childhood games. Like, there are ob obviously so many more, but these are like the main ones, the main ones that I used to play like all day long, you know? And there's uh, the pig from the Angry Birds movie again. One out of the claw machine, looking pretty good. It's not the same style as like the, the other pigs I own, but since it's based on the movie, it has to be like this sort of, like, you know, like a real character. It's not just like a circle pig that, but yeah, I think I prefer the original pigs, like, you know, the 2012 ones. Bring 2012 back, Rovio. But anyways, yeah, these are all the DS games. And here's my original DS, and that pretty much wraps it up for today's video. It's extremely hot here in Australia. Um, bushfires obviously kind of sucks, but uh, you know I was gonna film a, like a Mario video or something today, but turns out I don't have enough time. But I have enough time for this though. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know which which games of these are your favorite and what are your childhood games. All right, see ya.